G'day and welcome to Teacher Assistant AI taking you on a quick tour on what you're going to experience when you first log in via our dashboard to the platform. What we have powered here is a variety of tools with AI. The first of all, which is templates under nine or 12 different categories, able to use these and favorite via the star and show your favorite sections. But essentially what these are, these are the ones that I've favorited for me. If I click on this one, the question generator, we're given some fields here to fill out to be specific with what my content generation is targeted at. What are my learn kids learning about? What is their grade level and their subject? And what, what we're gonna get given is the questions that are going to align with that and match to our curriculum, match with some evidence-based practice and be appropriate for the grade level that's given. I can easily copy and paste these out. These are different variety of questions. Our hooks are closed, open. This is for our old one that I've used. And come back out to templates. I'll choose some of my other favorites. This is what's a really nice one that I like to use. The FAQs, I've used that quite often, but the instructional guide, this is a really good one. Essentially, I outline what the instruction that I would give in start like cook an egg, how would you change a tire and so forth, and we'll get a breakdown instructional guide for you to step-by-step -step go through it. Really helpful with kids when I like to set a task and able to break that down into a step-by-step, -step, um, a very clear and concise language to be able to follow those steps easy. This again is saved in your history, which which is right here. So templates, there's over 150, these grow, we build these for users, whoever ask and request a specific one to be able to be a, uh, create a repeatable generation of content depending on the variables like your learning intention or your grade that you're working with, that was able to complete that one at a time for you. There's no reiteration, so you can't continually talk about it. Where this gets stored in our history center, you can choose by your uh, template that you used or filter by your different type of um, uh, how many uh, words that you used or when did you use it and so forth. Each of these are generated into your words. So this one was 292 words. When I built some learning station ideas for my science class, sedimentary rocks here, gave me out the ideas for each station. What this links to is your tool credit, oh, sorry, your tool token template credit. And you can see what your word credit per month is uh, lasting there. Our users also get unlimited usage uh, if you subscribe with us. Our tool token credit, so we'll move on here. So templates, these are our single use and connected to our history. We come down to our planning, our evaluation, new quiz and admin center. What you'll find here are uh, AI powered uh, different types of workflow automation. So these aren't uh, single use. This will go through a series of uh, validation checks against the curriculum and evidence-based evidence practice and so forth before it outputs you your results. We're working towards uh, different types of outputs for teachers if they would like in, in PowerPoint presentations or documents and so forth. At the moment, you'll see that those come um, released over time throughout this year in 2024. Our lesson planner here, essentially give it some context through the fields that you are working on and it's similar to the chat completion of what we were doing before. Run this tool and this will run a workflow automation. So it is not a, just a single prompt head out to a AI, a large language model and return. What this is gonna go through is a series of validations. It's like, uh, talk about a chain series of tools. So each, um, each uh, link in the chain will inform the next link in the chain to be able to continually uh, ratify and genuinely make uh, great content for what you would like, in this sense, a lesson plan. How that would say in simple terms. So we're going to create a lesson. We're going to consider the curriculum. So what the we construct will be compared against the curriculum. Are we hitting some standards? Are we matching the achievement standard or content descriptor? What are we aligning to? The We will then do a a check against the evidence-based practice for what you're trying to teach these students or what they are trying to learn. We're gonna match that back out to the most modern or the best um, uh, reigning Australian, um, most common in practice, evidence-based practice to instill and making sure that we're going to run a validation check in what constructed lesson was against that before it is output. And this is just a an example here, as in the lesson planner. 
there is so many different tools in the, you've got some specialty planning. If you come into YouTube, UQuiz, we can change a UQuiz, uh, YouTube video into different types of questions or lessons. And you can download the videos in the admin, se admin center, easily convert text to speech. You can make, build surveys, convert language and build your reports out and so forth. The evaluation center, this is where you're working on feedback. You can put in your students' assessments and that will run a, a workflow and not only mark against rubrics, but give authentic feedback to be able to progress those students and plus so much more here as well. That leads us to our chatbots. So much power here in what we use as well. We'll come down a little bit further. Our curriculum chatbots for each one. So they each, each have a, a defined um, a profile on how they'll perform and behave and how they will consider the curriculum to inform how they deliver content and build um, content with you. So it's like saying to a librarian uh, who might be really interested in action novels, if you go and ask them about fairy tales, even though that they'll give you a good answer, they'll know about fairy tale books, it's not their specialty. So we have uh, retrained and purposed these chatbots for their specialties to be in English and mathematics and science, and that's why they are defined by different bots. You can also use our specialty ones. We have a variety of ones that are used for engagement, such as um, Versa Versa. This builds reading passages with formative questions, and that can be built straight into a, a, a Word doc file that you can print out. We have different ones for training in your prompt engineering and your builds worksheets so forth and so forth. A lot of people like to come in and use freeform uh, LLMs, our large language models. So you've got access to GPT-4 and 3.5, Claude, Perplexity. This one here, you can test out what models might be good for you. We will only add to this list over time, but these section here I mentioned last because they are for subscription access. Down the bottom, We've also got our uh, text to image generation. Uh, this is an area that we haven't worked on in a while. We're hooked up to uh, DALI 3, which is a very powerful text to image generator, but we need to and would like to give our users more optionality, which means uh, adding in stable uh, diffusion 3 and also mid journey as options to generate images. We also offer through Originality AI and AI probability and plagiarized text detection. Essentially here, you add in your student a sample of work, minimum 50 words, and I click the boxes and run scan, and that will send out, um, it's not there for me, run scan, and then you'll be able to um, run that against uh, Originality's powered AI, against AI probability, get a score, and also plagiarize text. And the really powerful one with here, uh, we're not running an example right now, apologies, but you'll get the websites that students may have copied and pasted their questions from, and you'll get the hyperlinks there as well, so you can click that. There's a, a tutorial down here in the Professional Learning Center. You'll be able to have a watch of that one as well. The Document Center, uh, um, we are able to connect straight into a document that you can store in with us. This is progressive, so if you would like to work on things over time, if I continue to prompt here, it'll continue to build into my prompt. So over here, I was just using this as a bit of a mood board to try and get ideas and save it here, um, the, save it in this document to be able to recall later when I was going to use it with my English students when we were studying Matilda. So much to work here. We also have our support button. This means that you can access us and our team, be able to send it through, give us a couple of um, contextual answers here and your email for that you would like to be responded to, run that and that'll send us out to a support ticket to us. You also have your manage section. This is for you. This was great to uh, track your usage over time. And you can see that the credits that you've used over the month, each month you'll revert back to 5,000 uh, word credits. So you can use our templates over and over again. But if you choose that you'd like to access this and our tools more frequently, you can upgrade that at any time and you can be in control of that. You'll have your uh, invoices and you can um, cancel at any time. I hope this has been helpful. As always, we love communication with our users. So if you would like to have a call or if you'd like an online meeting or just an email, we'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you might have in how it works, what you can do with it. But also, if I would like to have anyone come in and just would like a bit of a rundown and demonstration, we would be, again, more than happy to help.